When I look at this year's phones, I really do think those bigger phones, I, I know you looked at those pictures of, in the pockets, but I really do think the bigger phone, especially on the Pro Max, that's the expensive one at $1,100, or sorry, $1,200 basically, it, it is a compelling buy. And that is because they have used a new titanium edge or shell to that device that makes it lighter, it feels lighter. I said in my review, it does not feel like you're gonna smash that phone on your face when you're holding it in bed. It just, it feels easier to hold. And I've people who have long wanted bigger phones and that's what Apple's been pushing for, towards. This is a good buy. When you're looking at past previous models year over year, the camera improvements are not substantial. But when you look back to, let's say you're coming from a 12 or you're coming from a 13, you will see some of those improvements. You'll see them in low light, you'll see them in zoom. Again, going back to that iPhone, uh, 15 Pro Max here. That one has an extra zoom, a 5x zoom this year, so you can get even closer. 